Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The project title is Credit Card Fraud Detection Using Neural Network. Let's see the abstract. The payment card industry has grown rapidly. The last few years companies and institutions move part of their business or the entire business towards online service providing e-commerce information and communication service for the purpose of allowing the customer better efficiency and accessibility. Regardless of location, customers can make the same purchase as they previously did over the disk. The evaluation is the big step forward for the efficiency, accessibility and profitability point of view, but it also has some drawbacks. The evaluation is accompanied with a greater vulnerability to threats. The problem with making business through the internet lies in the fact that neither the card nor the card holder needs to be present at the point of sale. It is therefore impossible for the merchant to check whether the customer is a genuine card holder or not. Payment card fraud has become a serious problem throughout the world. Companies and institutions lose huge amounts manually due to fraud and fraudsters continuously seek new ways to commit illegal actions. The good news is that fraud tends to be pretended to certain patterns and that it is possible to detect such patterns and hence fraud. In this paper we will try to detect fraud transaction through the neural network along with the genetic algorithm. As we will see the artificial neural network when trained properly can work as a human brain. Through it is impossible for the artificial neural network to imitate the human brain to extend at which brain work. Yet neural brain and uh, network depend for their working on neurons, which is the small functional unit in brain as well as ANN. Genetic algorithms are used for making the decision about the network topology, number of hidden layers, number of nodes that will be used in the design of neural network for our problem of credit card fraud detection. In proposed work, the neural network model which does not require fraud signatures and yet is able to detect frauds by considering a cardholder's spending habit. The detail of items purchased in is individual transaction are usually not known to any fraud detection system running at the bank that issues credit cards to the stockholders. Its main advantage is it's easily detected the fraud purchase before the transaction is complete. No need to give any fraud signatures to detect the fraud. Minimum time is required to detect the fraud. No storage device is required to store the fraud signature. Let's see the data flow diagram of the project. Data set extraction. Usually the information of the sector will taken as a backup. To pre-process the data, first we should load the file. The data should be loaded by the valid person. Here there is a person, admin, one who has the authorization to access the data set. Now the data set will be extracted in a valid format. It is important to keep the data secure. Pre-processing method. The next step after the data set loader, we should pre-process the data because if we process the full data for the neural rules, it is difficult to handle whole data. So we isolate the valid field needed for the future work and separate it from the entire data. User construction. The personal information of the user will be added already for but by the authentication. User user should provide one pixel image as his unique representation. In feature process, it used for validation. Neural network prediction. The network can then work out the relationship between the input and output. While the user enter into the purchase option, his personal information will be inserted into the records as well as in the same time and records will compare with the previous record. Fraud detection method. Usually the authentication will be done in the basis of user password text value and the other value. But in this method, we represent the picture which contain the text value. If any new transaction occur while well validate using neural network process, any fortune occur, the user should provide the correct image for validation. The image won't be compared, the textual image will be checked and then it will be used for the valid person. Allow to do transaction, the other cannot do the transaction. Welcome to see the project. Admin has to enter with their respective username and the password. 
and choose the admin category and go to sign in page. Welcome admin. Browse the data set to extract. Go to next button. Click holder information to know the credit card holder details. Click purchase information to know the purchase details. To know the total records, go to total records. You can see the total records of credit card holder and purchase the details. Go to purchase button. Click view data to view the data. The data has been successfully pre-processed. Click actual data button to view the actual data. To know the unwanted data, press unwanted data button. To get the alert zone, press this one. Select the per user ID to view the details. Click view button. You can see the purchase detail of this user. Click view to see the largest purchase. To know the location of this user. To know the final result, click this one. Go to next button. You can see the user unique purchase and only one purchase locations and the final result of the user. Go to next button. You can see the maximum purchase of the user and the unique purchase and the duplicates purchases of this user. Go to next button. The frequency of the fraud detection will be calculated and finally the output will shown in the graph representation. Graph is one of the method to show the results effectively. The total record of the data set and the fraud value of the data set can, can also be listed out. Click sign out page to go to home page. Let's see how the user action is take place. If you are a new user, go to sign up page. User has to enter the user ID, password and the confirm password. Click fetch button to get the IP address of the user system. Select any ID if the user want. Click create account button. The account has been successfully created. Enter the respective username and the password for login. User has been successfully logged in. Select the particular user ID and choose the image for an authentication purpose. Click read image to read the image. It has been successfully read. Then click save changes button to save the changes. The record has been inserted successfully. Click next button. To know the balance statement, go to balance statement button. You can see the username and the ID and the credit amount of their account. Click purchase list button. The list of data set will be retrieved. Select any product name to purchase. To check the possibility, press this one. You can easily purchase this one. Click purchase button to purchase. Before purchasing, the verification process will be handled. User has to choose the ID and click the one time password and choose the authentication image. Click read image button to read the image. If both the images are same, you can purchase your order. Go to next button. If you want to know the purchased order, click view button. You can see the purchase product name and the ID. If you want to choose the multiple products, you can purchase it. Thank you.